Welcome back to GMA, live from Times Square. See those raindrops? Oh, the rain is coming here in New York. Welcome back, everybody, to GMA on this Wednesday. Well, you know that song. That's Billie Eilish. Well, she and her brother, Phineas, are no strangers to award show gold. They've taken home multiple Grammys between the two of them, but now they're on the road to the Oscars. Their very first nomination, Chris Connolly sat down with them and has more on their story. Chris, good morning to you. Hey, good morning, TJ. Yeah, their James Bond song has already won a Grammy, and they've got plenty of those. Now, No Time to Die from the great Billie Eilish and her songwriting sibling Phineas is Oscar-nominated. An acknowledgment from the Academy for their 007 song seems to count as a genuine thrill. Where were the two of you when you learned that you'd been nominated for best song? I was asleep. <laughs> I was. I woke up. I was like, I, I, did, I stayed up way too late, and I just fell asleep and didn't set an alarm and whatever. And I got the texts from, like, friends that was like, oh, my God, congratulations. And I had to, like, double check and, like, look and be like, you're lying to me. Like, the Oscars? I don't know. It was such a, such a crazy, surreal, unbelievable, like, thing I would never, ever have dreamed about happening in my life. It's the siblings' first nomination, but not their first time at the Oscars, performing yesterday during 2020's In Memoriam tribute. When I did the In Memoriam piece, I was looking out into, like, Leonardo DiCaprio. I mean, that's all I have, have to say, <laughs> really. <laughs> Just seeing faces that I have seen my entire life looking at me, it, uh, yeah, it was very scary and cool and unbelievable, so. Like, we were standing side stage, we're like, oh my gosh, that's Steven Spielberg, and he's talking, and then they're like, get this, get this. <laughs> and it's like, it was, yeah, we were like. You're like, oh, us? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yes, you, and from their earliest days, the Academy Awards were a big deal at home. The Oscars was like a, a family event at our house. We would have friends over, and you get dressed and eat food, and it's so weird to think that that's what this is. Yeah, <laughs> we were certain we'd never be nominated Yeah, for that's the other thing. Our dreams were so small. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, true, it's really true. Okay. The songwriting is such an achievement because it's a combination of your world and the intimacy of your world with the biggest movie imaginable. It was a big deal for us to make sure that we were not taking away from the sound of the franchise and also not straying too far away from myself that it felt um, non-organic and like not uh, What's the word? Um, authentic. Authentic, yeah. That was what we were trying to achieve, you know, the whole time. Such a great song and pitch perfect for a movie that even those who worked on it told us is the first Bond film that ever made them cry, guys. Oh, wow. All right. All right. Good to see you as always, Chris. And the 94th Academy <laughs> Awards are live March 27th, 8 p.m. right here on ABC. And tune in the following morning for, of course, our GMA Oscar after party. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.